Good morning, Olmstead Falls Intermediate School. This is Mr. Judson with the Bulldog Broadcast for Monday, September 16th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Happy birthday to the following. Today for lunch, your choice will be a meatball sub served with carrot sticks, waffle tots, and orange. Tomorrow, your choice will be pizza dinner served with cucumbers with hummus and grapes. Fourth grade students, please bring your Chromebook if you still need to plan your drawing. Fifth grade students, please bring your art shirt to class for clay. Attention all students. It's time for the annual Fire Prevention Poster Contest. This year's theme is Smoke Alarms. Make them work for you. Entry forms and project paper are posted outside the art room. Entries are due on Thursday, September 26th. This announcement is for all 5th grade choir members. Our first practice is today after school. When you are dismissed, go to the rehearsal when the fifth grade bell rings. Before entering the music room, please leave your belongings against the wall in the hallway, and then you can go in and have a seat on the carpet. Make sure you have arranged for a ride to pick you up after practice at 3.15 if you plan to attend. Mrs. McClellan is excited to see you there. The PBIS raffle is happening this week can win a Starbucks gift card. If you are interested in winning, put your Bulldog Bucks in your grade level bucket in the cafeteria during your lunch. Make sure your first and last name and your homeroom teacher are written on the back of your Bulldog Bucks. Winners will be announced next week. Good luck! Hello, Ophis Bulldogs! This week is Start With Hello Week, a youth violence prevention program from Sandy Hook Promise with the mission of connecting people to form healthy, supportive relationships. Today you will learn how to create a closer, more connected, and inclusive classroom, school, and community. Simply start with hello. We have all experienced times where we have felt lonely, passed over, excluded, invisible, isolated, shut off, or ignored. Now imagine living like that every day or for multiple days or weeks. In every school and community, there are kids and young adults who are alone and quietly suffer through each day. We need to create a community that supports and looks out for one another. To do this, we need you. It is the only way to achieve this. And the good news is that this is simple to do. Just start with hello. Here are three easy, simple steps. Step one, see someone alone. Step two, reach out and help. Step three, start with hello. So how do you know if someone is isolated? You need to know the signs and signals of isolation. Preference to be alone rather than engaging with peers. May avoid human interaction. Anxious or uncomfortable around others socially. Purposefully being excluded by peers, digitally or indirectly person is slightly removed or outside of you and your group. Unfortunately, you can see social isolation everywhere. The key is to look for it and observe. It's really important to remember that someone can feel alone even when they are with others. Isolation isn't always when someone is physically by themselves. After we observe someone feeling alone or isolated, we can reach out and help. For many, taking a step can be very hard what to do or when to reach out. So what can you do? Go sit next to someone who you believe may be feeling isolated. Your presence alone begins the connection. You can leave a note. You can invite someone to join you. You can even reach out on social media and connect with someone digitally. You have now reached out and helped. What do you say? How do you 
start a conversation and learn more about the person you reached out to. What questions can you ask? What icebreakers can you use? The five W's give you endless options in how to ask questions. Who, what, when, where, and why are all great conversation starters. So why should you start with hello? You should start with hello to create a more connected and inclusive school and community. You should start with hello to inspire others and create lifelong friendships. You should start with hello to make a difference in someone's life. And lastly, you should start with hello because it's the bulldog way. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be kind. Hello Bulldogs, today is Meet and Greet Monday for Start With Hello Week. Find your hello style. Focus on greeting people you know and don't know yet here at Ofis. Smile, wave, say hello or good morning, a high five, fist bump, handshake. Be creative. Hope you have a great day. Remember that tomorrow, Tuesday, is Wear Positive Messaging Clothing. Yeah!